Everyone, welcome to a video about a great solo played by Django on the famous standard Night and Day. Let's go! There's two famous solos by Django. There's the old one or the, the first one that he recorded with the Hot Tube de France with Grappelli on violin and rhythm guitars and bass. And there's one that he recorded in Rome during the Rome sessions, again with Grappelli on violin, but this time there's no rhythm guitars, instead there's a piano trio. And Django's playing in that period of time was very sophisticated. It has always been sophisticated, but maybe there was an extra level of sophistication. And we're going to see some of that in this solo. So let's start with the first phrase. <laughs> Night and Day starts with a 2-5-1 to the key of D. But instead of being at a regular 2-5-1 with E minor 7, A7, D, it starts with a half diminished chord. So it's E half diminished, A7, to D major. So normally you would think, okay, half diminished, half diminished 2 chord and the regular 5 chord probably will go to a minor chord, so to D minor. That would be the normal way to play a 2-5-1 with a half diminished chord. E half diminished, A7, D minor. But you could also go to a major chord. It's a little bit surprising, but it's a nice effect. Now, many people actually have a problem with the half diminished chord, just in general what to play over it, and that's because they think too much about E half diminished. It's much easier to think about G minor 6, because that's the same chord. You can even see it on guitar. This forcing for E half diminished is the same as it would be for G minor 6. You can also play it here. Same notes, right? See, G minor 6. Or if I just not play a G in the bass, it sounds like E half diminished. But you can play the same things on it. So that is what Django is doing. He's thinking G minor. And you can really see that by his pickup, because his pickup is an F sharp diminished arpeggio. With an extra note, he, he plays a D there. This D, like a melodic um, embellishment. So that's really a lick that sounds like D7 to G minor. So he thinks of that E half diminished as a G minor chord. Now there's a G minor arpeggio. And even on the A7, he stays in that G minor sound with his kill. That would be a G minor Aeolian or a, a natural G minor skill. So instead of thinking about a 2-5 in minor, you could think about the 4 minor chord, because that's what it is, right? You think about D, the 4 chord is G, but then you think G minor, and you just play two bars of G minor, and you get a really nice sound. Because on the E half diminished, it will sound very natural, and on the A7, you will create this kind of sound. A G minor with A in the bass, that's a sus alter sound. And then, of course, there's a resolution to D major with this F sharp minor 7 arpeggio, but that's the same as a D major 7, 9, right? The main lesson is just think about two bars of G minor and two bars of D. Let's go to the next phrase. He 
here we have the same principle. It's two bars of G, but now it's more melodic or scalar. Right, that's all G minor sound, G minor scale. Resolving to the major seven of D. Very melodic sound. Uh, com sounds completely different from the first phrase, which was more arpeggio-like. But it's the same principle, just G minor, two bars to D, two bars. Let's go to phrase number three. This is that tricky part where we have G sharp half diminished to G minor seven, to F sharp minor seven, to F diminished. And then it's a 2, 5, 2, D. Now, those descending chords, they seem more difficult than they are. And that's a good thing because it happens three times in one course of night and day. Instead of thinking G half diminished, you could think about a minor chord, right? It's the same as B minor 6, like we said in the, in the first chord, E half diminished is the same as B minor 6. G sharp half diminished is the same as B minor 6. But if I play B in a minor 6, you can see that's the same chord as E7. So in this case, instead of thinking G sharp half diminished, think E7. And then instead of thinking G minor, think A7 altered. And I, I just said that if you play a G minor triad, you put an A in the bass, you get an A7 altered sound. So that's what you're doing then. You play some E7 thing, you play some A7 altered thing, Resolving to D major. And the D major you play instead of F sharp minor 7. Now mind you, this is all as a solo player. The rhythm player, of course, is just playing the regular chords. That, that makes it great. D sharp have diminished, G minor, F sharp minor. And you think E7, A7 altered, D. And then we get that F diminished. And there's several things you could do. You could think of any of the dominant chords that go with that diminished chord. So uh, G7, B flat 7, D flat 7, E7. I like D flat 7 the best. So D flat 7 altered. So you, you are on the D chord. Now D flat 7 altered. It's a great sound. And then you go to a regular 2-5 in D. So the whole thing, E7, A7 altered, D, D flat altered, uh, 2, 5, 1. Now we see a version of this in Django's lick as well, because he just thinks about G minor, that the first chord, the G sharp half diminished, or E7, he doesn't really play there. He plays some notes that lead into the second chord. Uh, chord, right? That is a lick for G minor, but again, you could also think of it as A7 altered. Resolving to D major, and then we're on the F sharp minus. You could think of it D flat seven sharp nine. Of course, this all sounds very complicated, but you could also just learn this lick and realize it's a cool way to play over these changes. But it also fits on a regular two five in D. Right? That also just fits over a regular 2-5. So that's the, the crazy thing about this tune. It's all 2-5s, but different variations. Right? We start with a 2-5 with a half diminished 2 chord, and now we have a 2-5 with a dominant 2 chord. Let's go to the next phrase. Finally, we have a regular 2 5 1 to D, E minor, A7, D. And there is this great Django 2 5 1 lick. Nothing to say about it, it's just a great lick. Now, Django is probably playing different fingerings. I, I suspect he's playing like this, so that the trill is a whole step. I like staying in position. 
but now the trill is a half step. Sounds a little bit less sweet, so what I would normally do is just leave out the trill and play. Also sounds good. And then we have another F sharp diminished arpeggio to go back to G minor, or E half diminished, the first chord of the second A. Let's check that phrase out. Again, realize the harmony of night and day can be simplified greatly. So you think E half diminished A7 to D, so a 2 5 1 to D with a half diminished chord. Or you could just think about two bars of G minor, back to D. Now we get a 2 5 1 to D, but with a dominant chord as a two chord. So E7, A7, D. Now we get a diminished chord and a regular 2 5. It's all variations on a 2 5 one 2 d uh, So the chords may seem complicated, but they really are not. So in this first lick of the second chorus, we see Django again making optimal use of simplification, playing this a G minor arpeggio, but it played in a great way with large interval jumps. It sounds very special. Way more special than you would think when you see the notes. Uh, it's probably just a, the way he plays it also, so go listen to the original, there is a link in the description. But this is a great link to learn for all your 2 fives. With this bluesy ending. You could even play this on a regular 2 five. I know there is a B flat in it, right, that, that clashes with E minor, but it's right before the A7, so it's just a, an anticipation of an altered note. Or you start on the, on the third beat and there is no problem. Why right? you could do one, two, three, four, one, two. Something like that. Let's go to the next phrase. And here, yet again, we have an example of just playing a G minor. This time it's a skill. You could say it's a G minor melodic skill with a major seven here. And here again, but there is a chromatic passing note. And now we have the same, same major seven lick as we had earlier, but with, this time without triplets. And then we arrive at the next phrase. So here Janga outlines every chord in a certain way. So it starts with a real G sharp half diminished arpeggio or a B minor six arpeggio, or you could say E7 nine. And then he just shifts that arpeggio down a half step. So if you play B flat minor six or uh, E flat not E flat seven nine or G sharp half diminished on top of A7, you're basically playing this kind of sound. It's another altered sound, right? Here's B flat minus six. And I put A on the bottom. You might recognize it as a voicing for A7 altered. That sound. Great sound. Again, you just think A7 altered. And then, that's a lick for D. So like I said, the Django is just playing the simplified changes. So E7, A7 altered. The D major. And on the diminished chord, he, he doesn't really play, he just finishes the sentence that he started on the on the D chord or on the F sharp minor seven chord. But if you want to play it there, just play D flat seven altered. Let's go to the next phrase. Another great 2-5-1 lick, because here we are at the regular 2-5-1, and it's a classic Django lick, at least the beginning. But the ending, 
Mm. Very sensitive. Never s seen that ending before. Great thing to add to your library of licks because I know many jungle licks that start like... Or... Or... And now we have... Great addition. That's it for this video. And you might think, that's it. Wait, there is a bridge, the B part. Yes, I know. And I'm going to make a video about that too, but especially for my patrons at the 10 euro tier. If you check out my Patreon, there is a five euro tier. And if you join there, you can download the tabs that you saw on screen today, but also for many other videos. But if you want to have access to a special video or exclusive video about the rest of the solo, it will be available for my 10 euro tier patrons and up. So if you want to See that video, check out my Patreon, and there's lots of other stuff for you to enjoy there as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I make another upload here. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>